Good morning, everybody. So I'm going to be doing the daily tarot a little differently. We're going to do it from outside. I'm always talking about going outside, um, and I do. It's a beautiful day. Um, the weather has been wonderful lately, and we are going to go ahead and get into our daily message. And what I'm going to use is the uh, Nature Speaks Oracle, I think it is. I've already done a few cards, shuffled them, and I got them in my pocket with my tarot. So we're just going to go ahead and get into some of the message. I might be stopping along the way, but the, yeah, Nature Speaks Oracle, that's what it is. And the first card that I got out is the Daffodil. So let me show you that card. Hold on a second. You know, I don't know how it's going to be outside because there's more things happening. But we have trust in your power with the daffodil. So that one thing that can set us off more than anything is not believing in ourselves, Not believing in our power. Letting our critical mind get to us. Overthinking things. Letting our fear get to us, right? So we're going to go ahead and read the book a little bit. But I just want to tap into not trusting yourself. You know, everyone is brought to this earth with a mission, with a purpose. And somewhere along the line, we get bombarded by people's opinions and traumas that happen to us and failures that set us back. And the people that we're dealing with, you know, even sometimes our parents, they're still works in project process, works in progress too. So when they have their own issues, sometimes those latch on to us, you know? You ever notice like if a parent is say afraid of thunder then a lot of times the kids are going to be afraid of thunder you know what i'm saying so you know we have to get past all those barriers but we have to tap down into that believing in our own power trusting in our own power so our next card is dandelion persist in pursuits which i love this card the dandelion i'm going to go ahead and pick one here because of course they're all over. So part of my video went into slow-mo. I hate when that happens. I must've hit a button. But what I was saying about the dandelion is it's, it can be a pest for a lot of people. You know, it's considered a weed, a pest. It just overgrows all over the yard um, and you have to keep cutting them down. They grow faster than grass, you know? So a lot of people think these are, are pest weeds, right? But guess what? Some people's pest or weed is someone else's wish, right? So it's how you look at things. Sometimes those little thorns in the side or those pests teach us about life. It makes things a pri priority. It makes us appreciate the things we do have, right? So have you ever had a kid, some of you parents that have children? Um, these are abundant, so they bring us these little dandelions as flowers. So you can look at it that, like that's coming from their heart, right? It's uh, somebody's wish. It's beautiful. So that is the dandelion. It can, you know, it has a lot of healing properties. It has a lot of vitamins in it. There's, there's a dandelion tea and things like that. So they have a lot of benefits to them. So it's how you look at things. Is things a pest or is it a, an abundant um, thing to bring you that has a lot of nutrients in it? A lot of healing powers. You know, like that gift that your child brings you or the dandelion tea. See, like the vast dandelions. A lot of pest in life. So now, our final um, oracle is the prairie, which is all about extremes, right? So this says a move and adapt. So all those extremes. The prairie can be cold and harsh, or it can be like a summer meadow. Um, it's vast, it's open, it's extreme. So we have to move and adapt to our situation. Anything that life throws us, at us, we have to adapt to, like that prairie. So this is a beautiful card saying, you need to adapt to whatever life throws at you. You know, life isn't easy and we have to adapt, right? We have to be able to handle those extremes. You know, the summers, the winters, all those things, the seasons of our life. Um, that's what we need to do. That is part of life. And we can't let that stop us from our mission, from what we're here for, for our true self, right? So then the tarot cards that I pulled this morning before I came down to this uh, little spot to deal with. Let me sit this down if I can, hopefully. All right, so the tarot cards are the Two of Cups, our connections with people, remaining our authentic self no matter what happens with us. You know, not everybody's going to have our back or... or or align with us so we have to you know adapt to those and protect ourselves and set the boundaries and still remain our authentic self 
filling our own cup with a, a way of being compassionate and, and understanding others, not judging other people because everybody has different life extremes and, and situations. And then the Knight of Swords is taking action towards our truth to be, to be, remain and become our authentic self to dig in deep and find that gem hidden within us and and show it to the world right we're all here with unique gifts we're all here for a purpose and we can't let those extremes in life those traumas those situations other people's situations put us in a box um you know hidden away you know what good is it if we don't share it so that is the message today is no matter what happens in your life everybody's life is going to be different don't expect it and to be able to share your gift in the most authentic way possible you know you're here for a purpose stop hiding that and show it to the world you know and don't care what other people say or the situations you come up you know you just deal with it and you keep moving forward the best you can life's too short people and you're here for a reason right and nowadays it's really hard you know financially it's hard with the people's attitudes um just hard all the way around so do the best you can with what you got and adapt move forward right so that is your message today i wish you the best it's a beautiful day get out there and ground yourself it brings a lot of perspective and uh you know look at those weeds or those little pests as blessings in disguise those wishes to make your dreams come true Thanks for watching. Take care.